Hey, Lysandra Everett here, and I'm uh, shooting this video today to talk to you about moving forward after your failures. I was uh, talking to you or chatting with somebody on Facebook today, and you know, he was like, Well, I've, you know, I've tried so many things, I'm growing broke, and you know, I'm like, that's kind of that's happened to everybody. I mean, he asked, you know, you see these people with that are making you know millions of dollars overnight, and I said, well, you know, they're an overnight success that was probably a couple of years in the making, and that is um, the backstory that doesn't get told. But the thing about it is, and what stuck to me is, you know, how do you move forward? How do you go on after you've tried and you failed and you tried and you failed and you tried and you failed yet again? And um, one of the, the books I'm reading right now, The Greatest Secrets in the World, you know, Og Mandino talks about, you know, there's uh, these two scrolls. And one of the things it says in there is, you know, that the career that I've chosen is filled with heartbreak and despair. And the bodies of all those who failed, where they piled one on top of the other, would shadow the pyramid, but you won't fail. And, you know, the question is, you know, how do you pick up? How do you move on? And so this video, first of all, to tell you that failure isn't final. That is one thing that my friend and mentor, Nicole Cooper, put out there to us, is that failure isn't final. It is final if you choose to let it be that way, but it doesn't have to be that way. And so I wanted to give you a few things that you could really chew on to say, okay, what can I do to, um, to move forward? So the first thing is that you have to make a decision to believe in yourself. Yes, you've tried. Yes, you've screwed up. And I mean, I can just see it now. You're saying to yourself, you know, I spent money. I read all the books. I bought the training program. I listened to some guru tell me that if I was really serious about my business, that I would have this product. And I tried all this stuff, and none of it's working. I've got people over here. I see them making hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I can't make $5. What is wrong with me? What can I do? But I'm here to tell you that you don't have to suffer that frustration. You don't have to stay there. You can really pick up and try again. So the first thing you've got to do is to believe in yourself. You have to decide to believe in yourself. You have to let go of those past failures. And it can be hard because you've got your friends laughing at you. You've got your spouse looking at you saying, okay, you tried 15 things. None of them worked. What makes you think that this is going to work? But you, you have to decide to believe in yourself. The second thing you want to do is you want to find a mentor. And your mentor has to be somebody that you can totally relate to. It does not help you to be a single mom with kids to have a mentor who might be a single man. The, those demands are not the same. Your time uh, commitments are not going to be the same. You need to find someone who relates to you, who, who gets you, who speaks to you. And so when you find that mentor, you want to watch him. Watch him like a hawk. Watch what they say, watch what they do, how you know, look at how they act, all those things. And you know, and find out what it takes to work with them. And then do it. If they tell you to stand on your head in the middle of the street, well, make sure no cars are coming and then go do it. Okay? Find a mentor first because it's so much easier when you have the roadmap to success than it is to figure it out on your own. Think about when you're taking a trip somewhere. It is much easier if you've got somebody that's been there already. If you're going to a new city and your friend has already been there, it is much easier to call your friend and say, hey, where should I hang out? What should I do? What that's what mentors do for you. And I'll be the first to tell you, I struggled online a lot because I did not have a mentor. And when the opportunity became available for me to work with the person that I wanted to work with, I jumped on it. And, you know, first, yeah, I did have some reservations because it was going to require some stuff of me, but I made a decision to believe in myself, and I found that mentor. And the next thing that you want to make sure of is when you decide to join a program, you want to make sure that there is a support system in place. Because if you're waiting to just talk to one person, your mentor, all the time about what's going on, you're going to be waiting a long time. Your mentor has a business to run too. 
So you want to make sure that that program that you join has a community of people who is uh, there to help you if your mentor is not available. It happens. Your mentor can be off on some fabulous trip that they've won. They don't have time to talk to you when they're out on a boat somewhere. But you want to have a community of people that are there. So just in case that your sponsor is not available or your mentor is not available, that there's a, you know, a community that you can fall back on that can help you be successful. And the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you join a program that, um, that has duplicable success or duplicatable for some of us. That's not a word yet, though, but keep, you know, work on that. But um, in all seriousness, though, you know, you see these top Internet marketers, these top network marketers that are making five figures a month, but then you look at their team and there's no duplication. That does not help you. Okay, because you might not be able to do what that top earner is doing. That top earner might have worked 20 hours a day on their business strictly. Okay, yeah, if you work 20 hours a day on something all day, every day, you're going to have some sort of success or you just need to quit. But in all, you know, the realistic, that might not be realistic for someone else. For someone like me who has a family, working 20 hours a day does not work for me. It does not work for my family life. So the thing that you want to look for, you know, is how much duplication is there. You know, is this top earner making five figures a month, and then they've got team, team members that are making four figures working on five figures. So you need to look at the team to see how not just how the top earner is doing, but how their team is doing. So it doesn't make sense, and it doesn't benefit you to join a top earner, and you're still not going to make any money. Okay, that's still another road to failure. So you need to look at these things. But the main thing that you want to keep in mind, and to quote Nicole Cooper, failure is not final. You can get back up. You can find something that works for you. Just take the time to do your homework. That's it. And trust in yourself. Because just because you failed five times doesn't mean that the sixth time is going to be failure too. You just need to learn from your mistakes, find that mentor, find that program that you can believe in, and commit 100%, 100% to doing what it is that you are supposed to do to build that business. And if you do those things, I am, I, you know, there are no guarantees in life, but I'm willing to bet you that you will start seeing the success that you want in business. Okay, I've rambled on long enough, going on eight minutes. I hope this helps you. And just remember to keep marching forward. This is LaSondra Everett signing off. I'll check you on the next video. Bye.